The news day continues here on One News Now. I'm Jess De Los Santos. Montinlupa City Mayor Rufi Biazon says the Department of Social Welfare and Development can get help from local governments in distributing educational assistance to indigent students. Speaking to the chiefs here on One News, Biazon says LGUs can help DSWD distribute cash aid by preparing sites, managing the crowd, and deploying additional personnel. Over the weekend, the DSWD office was packed with people hoping to get cash aid for the school year. Social Welfare Secretary Erwin Tulfo has since then entered into a joint committee commitment rather, with the Department of Interior and local government to ensure the orderly implementation of the provision of educational assistance to students in crisis. But for us, uh, kami sa LGU, very much willing to help uh, the DSWD. Um, maganda naman yung uh, itap nila ang local government because we do have the network on the ground. Um, centralizing really is not a good idea. Um, kaya kami dito, uh, as long as our constituents will benefit, uh, we are open to helping out the DSWD. Meanwhile, Senate President Mig Zubiri renews his push for a SIM card registration law amid reports of tech scammers asking for money from government officials. Zubiri, in a press conference, shares he himself has received text messages from scammers. He said an anonymous texter who claimed to be a local official asked money from him in exchange for a political endorsement. The scammer has since been arrested by the police, according to Zubiri. But other senators have also fallen trapped to the scam. The SIM card registration act sought to curb fraud and tax scams as it allows the user of the SIM card to be traced back. But the law was vetoed by then-President Rodrigo Duterte as it included the registration of social media accounts. Sa mga may planong gumawa nitong klaseng uh, scams, handa po ang Philippine National Police at ibang investigative agencies ng gobyerno nahulihin kayo. Medyo delikado po pag ang kalagayan ninyo, pag ganito mangyari, makakalaboso po kayo. Kaya, huwag nyo na sanang gagawin ito muli. Here are the other headlines we're keeping our eyes on. Some members of the House of Representatives have renewed a push to abolish the Presidential Commission on Good Government or PCGG. The PCGG was created to run after the ill-gotten wealth of the Marcoses. Meanwhile, Justice Secretary Boying Remulia warns internet service providers may also face charges should they fail to cooperate with the agency's crackdown on online sexual exploitation of children. And the Asian Development Bank reports that the disruption of schooling due to the pandemic is set to inflict lifetime earning losses in students from lower income brackets. The Philippines is expected to have one of the highest expected losses with the poorest set to lose as much as nearly $600 in per capita future earnings. For more updates, visit News 5, the Philippine Star, and Business World Online. Visit our website, onenews.ph, for more in-depth analysis. You can also catch One News on the Signal Play app. Register an account now at signalplay.com.ph and stream One News Live anytime, anywhere. I'm Jess De Los Santos. Business World Live is coming up next at 9.30 a.m. Mask on, wash hands, and stay safe. Philippines, we are One News, all sides, all the time.